first Modeling Monday to the last Modeling Monday, I found that my students were much more creative. They were much more excited to try the problems on their own. They didn't ask me as many questions. They really worked together as a group to come up with an answer that they could back up with their math experiences or their math modeling, whether it be with an equation or with a picture or with a diagram. Um, one of the other things that's really good is just watching the students learn how to communicate with each other and how to um, just pull together all their thoughts and try to bring them into one cohesive unit so that they can solve a problem together. But I think the students who sometimes struggle in the day-to-day -day lessons and the direct um, instruction that happens in here, I really felt did better on stuff like this. When we did the ancestors, um, I had students tell me that the child was going to be born five years after the mother had passed away. Um, and I started laughing and I said, does that make sense? And they're like, oh no, that doesn't make sense. But they hadn't really thought through things and they spent so much time in math just looking for a right answer instead of understanding the process. And so um, it was good to see that there are ways that we can get them to do that. It gave students the opportunities to talk, uh, to work, to evaluate and to revise. Uh, the gallery walks and some of the strategies were quite helpful and also in themselves a learning process for students just to see and evaluate others and to revise their own work based upon what they saw walking around the classroom. What all the Modeling Mondays helps students do is um, to greatly increase the options that they have and their toolkit for not just solving problems in math but also um, solving problems and, and learning new strategies for solving problems in life. All of these situations are something that you can't just get from a textbook, which is why Modeling Mondays are so cool. They, they actually think beyond, I guess, more than what I thought. Today's Modeling Monday, too, they were comparing um, a boy with a girl in terms of how much water they can drink, and I never even thought of that concept. I'd say over the course of the four different types of problems, um, I really liked watching them grow as a group, working collaboratively. I have a couple of students, they have trouble communicating in groups. And through the Modeling Mondays, it was nice watching them work in a group of three or work in a group of four and watching their group members as they were able to communicate their take on the problem and I watching them give high fives across the table. So I was really excited. But I, I still think keep the questions open-ended uh, more so and, and challenge them, challenge them to think. I think that's great. I think it would be a good idea for me to be able to make my own questions and create a group situation where we have our own classroom style modeling Monday. I also would like to see kids do more explaining in words because we found when we gave them a practice test, there's a question about streets and which one was going to be the most dangerous and it said explain how you know this and they really had no idea how to explain mathematically something. So I'm hoping that next year we'll do things that require them to do that so they can get that practice. I think one of the big challenges for us will be to come up with questions that are um, not only open-ended, but questions that have some depth to them, that provoke students to ask meaningful questions uh, related to that, that they can tie into their existing mathematical knowledge and maybe build upon. Going forward, I think the students are going to be much more independent when they're solving problems. They're going to be much more willing to listen to each other's ideas and come up with new strategies to solve a problem. And they're not going to always feel like the teacher has to tell them how they have to solve a problem. They'll come up with ideas on their own. I'm excited to see where Modeling Monday goes, and I think the students are going to do a great job next year, too.